Hello everyone, and welcome to today's Daily Splat. Now, uh, a couple of uh, videos back, um, you would have heard me doing my movie reviews of 2010, um, which I hope you enjoyed, <laughs> if you have watched it. If not, uh, you can find it. It's somewhere around the internet. Um, but basically, one of the things that I talked about in that that I didn't really go into at the time, because it really is a whole other subject, which I'm now addressing, is um, 3D. Obviously, 3D movies have sort of come back into the fold quite a bit here. Um, and I'd, I'd just like to make a comment on it, essentially. Now, I am actually slightly qualified to talk about films because I have just recently uh, graduated from university with a double major in film-related studies. Um, so it's one of the few things I actually know a little bit about. Um, and I'd just like to give you... The thing is, this isn't knowledge, what I'm saying isn't, you know, has to be followed at all times, it is literally just an opinion. Um, basically, I'm not sure that 3D is the greatest thing in the world. Um, it definitely isn't, but I'm not sure if it's, I'm not even sure if it's going to last, to be honest. I mean, it'll, it'll always sort of be around, but will it continue to be popular? They're really pushing for it to be popular, but yeah, it's in the studios, but I'm not sure if it will be. You see, I've seen quite a few movies in 3D. I saw, obviously, Avatar, which sort of was designed to bring back the whole 3D thing. Uh, I've subsequently seen other live-action films, such as Alice in Wonderland in 3D. And I've seen the, you know, the sort of Pixar-style animation films in 3D, you know, the likes of Toy Story 3 and Shrek Forever After. Um... And quite simply, all, oh, and Harry Potter 7a, I saw in 3D as well, I think. I'm pretty sure it was 3D. I can't remember. Anyway, um, what was it? No, I can't, anyway, it doesn't matter. Point is, I have seen some films in 3D, and I'm not sure that it works all of the time. And, you know, I've got, I've got some friends who I know who like it, but they don't love it. And I know a lot of people who just can't stand it. Um, and it's it's interesting. My own opinion of the 3D, basically, is that I feel that what you get out of it isn't worth what you lose from it. I mean, for starters, when you watch films in 3D, you do lose a bit of the colour, you know, obviously through the lens of the glasses. Um, that was the reason I felt that 3D didn't work with Toy Story, was... You know, what it added to the film, I didn't think it added any sort of level of 3D-ness. There was very little shooting out of the camera, which they like to do, you know, coming out of the screen type thing. Um, there was very little of that, and I don't think the film had been designed for that to be involved in it at all. So I felt all you got with the 3D was slightly more defined characters, but what you lost was the colour, which particularly in uh, the, you know, the nighttime scenes made it a little difficult to see what was going on, which is never good in a film. Um, you know, when you're trying to see what is happening. Unless, of course, the director set it up so you don't see, but Toy Story 3 wasn't like that. Um, Avatar was probably the closest I've seen it work with live action. Um, obviously, it's not all live action. There is a lot of uh, imaginary blue people that have been edited in sorts of, you know, uh, Smurf or Hauntus things. And I feel that when I, that was the first film I saw in 3D, and I felt the bit where Sam Worthington is floating in, you know, he wakes up from high hibernation, and he, you know, floats out of his thing, and he goes, floats out of his bed, and you see it, you follow him floating. That in 3D kind of worked, and some of the holographs look quite good in 3D, but to be honest, I sort of lost interest with 3D during, it didn't keep me captivated, because... Personally, I didn't like Avatar that much. It bored me quite a bit. Uh, I just felt it was a bit too long. Um, and the 3D certainly didn't keep me captivated, but it's the film I've seen it work best with live action, and that's because it was designed to work with live action. I've just remembered Harry Potter wasn't released in 3D at all. But I was, uh, the reason I thought it was because they had all those shots of the snake coming towards the camera, which had clearly been put in for when they do put 3D on it in about six months' time. Um... Uh, you know, things like Alice in Wonderland in 3D didn't really work at all. That's because 
the 3D was sort of added post the filming. None of the filming was designed with 3D in mind. It was sort of a special effect they added. And it just looks messy and it didn't work for me. So that was probably the worst experience. The only film I have seen in 3D where I think it has added from the film, added to the film, sorry, and taken less away from it was Shrek Forever After. And that's because I think the film was quite enjoyable. It was the right length and all that business. But also... The 3D that it added, you know, it wasn't in your face like a snake jumping out at you. It was stuff like, um, Shrek, at one point the film Shrek swings on a giant chandelier and it sort of comes towards you, but not out at you, you know, sort of like that. It sort of just swings closer and then away, a bit like that. And it, 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 it was like, I almost forgot that I was watching 3D, which I think is the objective. And it's sort of like, wow, you know, you see it come towards you, and you're like, oh, it's coming. And then you remember, I'm watching a 3D film. And that is the other problem I have with 3D, is that you can't really lose yourself in the film, because every time you see something come out of the screen, you think, well, that doesn't normally happen. Oh, it's because I'm watching a 3D film. I'm watching a film. Oh, I've lost my immersion within the film. That's, um, that's how I feel about it. Anyway. Um... But I think the best thing that they do with 3D, at least here in Perth, I don't know about the rest of the world, is they have this logo just before the films come up. And basically it's a series of like 200 square blocks in rows of 10 and 20. And they all sort of line up and then they all shoot out you in columns. And it, you know, it's like they're flying past your head, whoa, whoa. And the last one is designed so that no matter where you are sat, it comes right in between your eyes. And it is, it is very cool. I do quite like that one. Um, that's the best thing I've seen done with 3D, to be honest, just some line shooting past you. Okay, uh, that's all for today. I uh, hope you have uh, enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to leave comments, uh, whether they are down there or wherever they're kept these days. Um, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!